<laughs> hey, it's green beer, but not the kind you'd expect to hear about so close to St. Patrick's Day. And tonight's PDX TV reports Chloe Hauser heads to Bridgeport Brewing for a tour of their green and sustainable brewery. Bridgeport Brewing takes up an entire city block in the Pearl District. It's a brewery, it's a bakery, and it's a restaurant. And this is their one tiny dumpster for all three businesses. So where does the garbage go? We're going to find out. We've gone from hauling out about 24 yards, cubic yards of, of landfill a week to about, about 12 yards per week. So we've cut our dumpster use in half. Carl Okert is the brew master at Bridgeport and the resident green expert. For every ton of cardboard that we recycle, we save about 17 trees. But it's not just cardboard. Bridgeport recycles glass, plastic, metal, and paper. Even unused food from the restaurant is sent to the city of Portland's composting program. Recycling is great. Reusing is the other thing we're trying to do. Bottle rinsing water is used three times before going down the drain, saving half a million gallons a year. Even the spent hops, grain, and yeast from the brewing process is saved and shipped out to the local dairy farmers as cattle feed. Given an excuse, we'd always rather reuse or recycle something. Not only does Bridgeport reuse and recycle, they also reduce their carbon footprint by buying local. Beer bottles are made of recycled glass from a Portland company. Hops are sourced from Oregon farms, and the grain that goes into Bridgeport beers are malted by a company in Vancouver. It's, uh, it's local from the ground up, absolutely. Bridgeport might be local from the ground up, but you can actually find their bottles in over 20 states across the country. But every one of them was brewed right here in their green brewery in Portland. For PDX TV reports, I'm Chloe Hauser, the 8 o'clock news. Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson here now with a check of our forecast. I'm just so excited for Saturday. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Saturday looks like the day. I was thinking of a place like that where you want to yeah. sit in the sun. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe not just in the sun. Maybe in the shade it might be comfortable briefly sure. in the late afternoon. So Saturday still looks spectacular. Good. No change in that. And Sunday, I think we're going to push the rain off until maybe close to sunset on Sunday. Maybe a little bit later. We'll see. So we could have a basically dry weekend.